Today, we're talking about the Twitter hack, NBA snitch hotline, medical breakthroughs, and more. Welcome to Able Bits, the show that keeps you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Let's get going. Twitter was hacked yesterday in one of the largest security scams in recent history. Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and even former President Barack Obama appear to have posted messages asking for Bitcoin donation matching, which reached over 100 million followers. Musk account read, I'm feeling generous because of COVID-19, and I'll double any Bitcoin sent to my Bitcoin address for the next hour. Good luck and stay safe out there. The hackers were able to get away with around 100K in just 60 minutes until the fraud was detected and shut down. Ever wanted to pop in some chewing gum to relieve a headache? Thanks to robotics, that may soon be a possibility as new research from the University of Bristol included using a robot, including simulated saliva, to assess the use of medicated chewing gum. Dr. Kazem Alam Zeta, a senior lecturer in the Department of Mechanical Engineering said, our research has shown the chewing robot gives pharmaceutical companies the opportunity to investigate medicated chewing gum with reduced patient exposure and lower cost using this new method. Now, if I can just find a robot to change the fitted sheets on my bed. The NBA return is two weeks away, and the bubble in Orlando is already full of drama. According to The Athletic, a hotline has been established so that players can report violations to COVID-related protocols. The snitch hotline has already been utilized to report rule breakers, and I think we can all agree Chris Paul was the whistleblower. Several players have been reprimanded for violations, such as visiting other hotel rooms and crossing food delivery pickup boundaries. Now, if we could only punish Russell Westbrook for taking an ill-advised three-pointer with 20 seconds on the shot clock. The Uncharted movie has gone through quite a bit of turmoil since its 2008 announcement. But 12 years later, tons of script revisions and seven different directors of production has finally begun. Tom Holland posted a pic on his Instagram page confirming the news. Ruben Fleischer will helm the film following his success directing Venom and the Zombieland movies. Originally, Mark Wahlberg was set to play the treasure hunter, but after rewrites, his role will go to Nathan's mentor Sully in a story that will be a prequel and hopefully turn into a larger franchise. I speak from experience when I say that 80s kids are needing a replacement for the Indiana Jones trilogy. My apologies to Nick Cage and National Treasure. Masks are now required. Major retailers, including Kohl's, Walmart, and Kroger, are requiring their shoppers to wear face coverings before entering the store. Walmart noted that 65% of its 5,000 stores are located in areas where local mandates for masks were already in place. These retailers are following the likes of both Best Buy and Starbucks who have already implemented these measures. The National Retail Federation, let's call them NERF for short, are pushing to have a national mandate on all types of stores and retail, even though the businesses themselves are hesitant due to pushback, sometimes literally pushing back from the shoppers. A spokesman from NERF stated, shopping in a store is a privilege, not a right. If a customer refuses to adhere to store policies, they are putting employees and other customers at undue risk. This week, NBC's new streaming app called The Peacock launched with tons of content ready to binge as long as you aren't planning to watch on a Roku or Amazon Fire platform as they aren't supported. The service comes with several packages that unlock more content. You can receive two thirds of the media library for free or upgrade everything to $5 per month. If you're feeling real frisky, just pay 10 bucks a month and you're ad free. Classics such as 30 Rock and The Office are available now with several new shows in the works, including reboots of Saved by the Bell and Punky Brewster. What's up, Liz Lemon? And that's a wrap. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into new interests, be current, and start trends. Thanks for tuning in, Dibble Bits. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.